Hi, it's Therese and I'm here for Alta New and I have a negative die cut technique to share with you today. I'm using the Christmas stockings stamp set which is a layering stockings set and I'm starting off by prepping my piece of cardstock. This is some Lagoon cardstock and I'm prepping it with some a powder bag and embossing a sentiment and this is from the Festive Poinsettia set and these were only just released. They're great Christmas stamps and dies from Altenew. And I'm wanting to white heat emboss this. So I've just placed my die cut on the panel where I'm going to be cutting it out and that just helps me with the placement for the stamps because it is a bit difficult to see the embossing ink. So I'm just adding the white crisp embossing powder and this embosses a treat. It's really pretty. As soon as you start to see the embossing powder melt, that's when you need to move your heat tool. You don't want to leave it hitting that for too long. So this is going to be the panel on the front of my card and this is going to create my negative space. So I just place the die cut where I am wanting my stocking to be and this is doing it a little bit backwards this is how I find it easiest to do this kind of a technique and I've got a star the stars from the stamp set and the die set are from Starry Night which is also one of the new release sets and it's really beautiful too now I want to stamp out my stocking like I said this is a layering stamp set I'm not doing any of the patterns here but I have got some examples over at the blog there are three cards in total using this set so lots of inspiration and you can also find more inspiration uh, from the release post as well so I'm using my favorite red this is called heartbeat and I'm just stamping out the base and the top of the sock of the stocking but I did miss stamp that a little bit so I've just come in with a pencil and colored it in it's a good cheat <laughs> all right so I've added some red fun foam behind my panel and now I've got some be creative tape making sure that I tape it around the actual negative space and this is how it just makes it so much easier for me than trying to line it up and get it perfect on the front of my card um, I just cut this panel away um, sorry my stocking leaving a wider space than what I need and then it's really simple because I can just remove the adhesive off the back of the panel and attach it onto the, um, the stocking itself so it's lots of forgiveness it doesn't I don't have to make sure that I have my stocking facing exactly the same way as the die on the panel although you can do this with the misty tool it does make it easy but this is um, another way of doing it you do need to be careful to make sure that my stars that I have added the negative space to that the bits of card stock behind don't um, show all right, so I've just added some tape runner to the back of that and then I can just pop it up on the front of my top fold card. And here's another look at this really cute set. So don't forget to head over the blog and see more inspiration and find all the links to all the products that I've used. Have a great day. Bye.